Okay, welcome back to New Vegas. I have gone ahead and cleared uh, this floor here of uh, hopefully all explosives um, and traps. So yeah, uh, there was a bunch. The mines were little like camouflage lumps on the floor, which is why I didn't see shit. So hopefully uh, there's nothing here. Hopefully all the mines are on and stuff are on the first floor. Okay, my guy was up here eating eating roaches, as you do. By all means. You know what? You had to survive. Understandable. Carry on. So that's where he was standing, presumably. He had some jet. We came well supplied. You know? A little bit of recreational material. Well, I guess in his case, it's literally defensive material. Thank you. So, yeah, I had the Mentats to uh, disarm something, I think. That's what I needed. exploding computer there was one downstairs that was rigged to explode um, which seemed to be all it does it just explodes okay that was the one from the other side shipment mistake workplace misbehavior shipment sent back So that's just all about the, the stealth boys. Shipment update. So I guess you may be able to find the shipment, or maybe it's just info you pass to the Nightkin? I'm not sure. Anything else hidden here? I guess not. I mean, maybe. There's kind of like some raised areas there that are hard to get to. Maybe you can jump that gap. Hold on, I'm curious. I gotta check. I have to know. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, sure enough. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah, nothing at all. Okay. Just my idiot companions down there knocking barrels over or whatever. Okay, I think we're we're done down here then. Does it normally do that? Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> it was not responding for a moment there. It was a little suspicious. I had to, so when I started the game today, I had to exit out because it froze before the main menu even loaded, which has never happened before. Um, it's probably not surprising. 
you know, the game is not the most stable thing. But, yeah. Uh, so I'm a little, like... I, I'm a little on edge in the sense of, like, game stability. <laughs> like, hmm... <laughs> I think all the lower levels should be clear, I think. We'll double check some of these as we like go past. Stop messing. Okay. I can just go in. I couldn't remember. I thought I, I thought I could just go in, but I figured oh. I, I'd make sure there wasn't Oh, Harlan's here. You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Later. All right. Is the way clear? The demons are dispatched. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Okay. Well, they're all fucking leaving. Can I... eventually steal their shit? I mean, like, without stealing it? Let's come back here after they, uh, they, they team rocket off into space. Or whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> there was no stairs there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it looks like that, I don't know, maybe that, nah, I got other body damage here. Probably didn't damage my legs. It's probably fine. Okay, well, I, I'm going to assume there's no hostiles and we don't actually need to heal. Just follow the man in the spacesuit. Did I? Yeah, I think I fully looted this shit. Cause I think I came back in this way. Um, Cause I had to. Uh, I just managed to over and cover myself just by the tiniest bit. Me. Gonna be hard covering you when I can't move my legs. Quit griping about your fucking legs. Where's the robot? I I can't stop looting shit. At some point I'm gonna have to, or it'll actually start to like affect my enjoyment of the game. <laughs> but uh for now I'll just keep going ham. <laughs> It's killed a few, like, Fallout uh, 4 runs. Which, to be fair, like, Fallout 4, you know, crafting materials are much more important, so you feel much more obligated to continue to salvage fucking everything. And it starts to get tedious of, like, you know, how much fucking fiber optics and shit do I really need? Plus there's shit like ballistic fiber that you need, like, the whole game. And you can never get enough, basically. So, like, there's never a point where you're like, okay, I have enough materials for the rest of the game. I'm fine. You're always stuck, like, at least looking for ballistic fiber. This game, I suspect we will eventually level out. Because I don't really remember having any issue with, like, a full Fallout 3 clear with the DLC of, like, getting annoyed by all the shit I have to salvage or feel, feel obligated to salvage. So I think we can assume that that'll also apply to this game. 
I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. You're, uh, you're gonna go to space, huh? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. What about, uh, your buddy Chris? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. Is his arm also discolored like his head? That's got to be like a weird, like, glitch with the textures. Maybe like, um, something upscaled versus something that wasn't or some other weird quirk. So Chris is fucked, right? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. You, uh, you kind of deceived him there. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Well, good luck with there that. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Oh, yeah. No, no, that's just the way his arm looks. Okay. Yes. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Uh, what do you need? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Okay. Igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Uh, you got you got any advice? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers. It's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. Later. So presumably that's where we are going. Over there near Novak? Is this the current quest? Yes. Well, there should be a shortcut out of here. Do I have um, trade goods? I picked up some cigarettes. Yeah, we got like rebar club. I don't remember if I want the laser stuff for repair at this point. I forgot. Well, whatever.
We'll head to Novak. We'll dump what we got. Oh, hello, Caravaneer. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, depends what sure. you got. Here's what I've got. Looks to be a hard no for me. I could just sell these. Let's sell the rifle. With the plasma rifle, like we have like a like two, I think, fully repaired backup plasma rifles. I'm never gonna really use a laser rifle. I don't think. Unless there's some compelling reason to use laser over plasma that I don't know about. Yeah, 11 pilot lights. There you go. All right, industrial ruin over here somewhere. Let's quick save now that we've cleared the inventory. I guess we could stick to the roadway. Oh, we got uh, somebody over here? Friend? No friend? Okay. Okay, we got a, a nearly dead wastelander. What the fuck? Why are you here? Just nearly dead. Maybe he was in a a fight with something. Okay. Uh, I don't see any reason to go poke my head in there. Oh yeah, there's a dead body over here. I bet you. Bet you they were fighting. Legionary came for him, I guess. Oh. Bro, did you kill all of these guys by yourself? One Wastelander versus multiple Legion people? Oh, fuck. Alright. We got trouble. What kind of trouble? I wonder if there's going to be an interior cell here, if it's just this outer ruin that we got to find something in. Dehydration level increased. Well, I got a solution for that, and its name is Sasparilli. Uh, is that mutant? No, that's a rad suit, man. Oh! Well, that was seemingly very easy. Well, the suit can scavenge anywhere. Suit pass test with flying colors. You can mountain. Vomited, didn't splash on suit. Bought a glowing container. I'm gonna pop this jar of goop, I would have poured all over me. Wow, Jesus Christ. No wonder you're fucking dead. Gecko. Okay. Well, I'm curious just because we're in the area here. Oh my. 
Where are you shooting? Oh god, you called them all in. Well, they're fucking running all over the place and not where I expect them to be. good? Is everybody alive? Boone? Oh okay, yeah, he's totally fine. I just never noticed him crouching before, so I was like, is he fucking nearly dead? No. So the golden geckos... Okay, well, my fucking 9 mil's done. No ammo left for that bitch. I was gonna say, yeah, the geckos... Uh, I think the golden hide can be used for, like, armor upgrades. Okay, well... I can just throw the laser pistol on here. I don't think I care much about the varmint. This doesn't disappear, does it? No. I guess I can keep the leech. Oh, nope, that, that vaporizes. Okay. Well, never mind. That's one way to clear, clear out uh, inventory space. So, yeah, if we give faction armor to anybody that's not faction aligned. Even if they don't normally wear armor, it disappears, I guess. I might have already figured this out in a previous episode and forgot it. I believe the eggs can go. Okay, you're actually full. Where did I get the Night Stalker tails? Maybe I just have those from before. Oh, you know what I can do? I can also ditch ammo. Fine it, it might get me a little more... A little more weight. Gonna be hard covering you when I can't move. Gonna be hard covering you. Really? You can't take move. any of Gonna these? Gonna be hard covering you when I can't move my legs. I'll give you that. What about the 9 mil? Okay, that's something. Just don't use that. Okay, well, yeah, too much. We could split it up, but I don't think that, that's worth the effort. Okay, so this place is, in fact, highly radioactive. So let's use that nice shiny rad suit. Actually, let's quick save here real quick before we get too far into this shit. Okay. Is this just like a weird scavenging area? Wait, how much is the knife worth? Eh. A coffee mug on the ground? I guess this is... Just some scattered debris to fit, like, the ruin aesthetic and shit like scrap metal that you can pick up and take. I don't take magnum rounds. I guess we could take the fission battery for now. Uh, that knife's 1 to 10. More hostiles. Not gonna go poke around them. 
for another trailer? Nope. Okay. Let's check out this section down here. Looks like we got some more shit. Is that a pack Brahmin? That's a pack Brahmin. Like from a caravan. What the fuck are you doing here, guy? Not sure if actually a pack Brahmin or just a random dude. There's like nothing here. We're taking, you know what, fuck it, just take a Radex too. How many Rataways do I need to actually take to get rid of a chunk of the Rad Meter here? Because, like, it seemed like that barely moved the, uh, the line. Unless it's, like, worse when you're in in the ra radiated area because like conceptually as a game mechanic you're like trying to use rad away as like rad protection so it's less effective i don't know i like that my fucking hand still sticks out <laughs> Fingies can't get cancer, so it's fine. Okay, well that seems to be all that there is to do here. Yeah, 179. So how much? Minus seven, five seconds. Is it minus seven over five seconds, which would be like nothing, or minus seven, four or five seconds, which would be like 37? In which case, we would need to consume most of our rad away actually to get rid of our rads here. So in that case, there's no point in actually using it. Let's see what we ended up at. 145. We were close to 200. So yeah, it was like 35 or something. Or whatever it was. Um. Yeah, so I'm not going to clear rads. We can go to like the doctor, which seems better. Um, let's just pop back over to Novak real quick. We could walk, but it, maybe this is fast. Is this faster? Eh, maybe. Caravan left? Oh, are you... Welcome back. Oh, no, you're safe. Sure okay. thing. Have a look. I thought maybe we missed the window. We'll check if his, uh, he's got anything new here. I don't, I haven't paid enough attention. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because like there was the laser pistol thing. We came back and it was gone. And then we came back later and it had shown back up. So there's definitely stuff that um, disappears and comes back. This lucky battle armor looks really tempting. But it's just, it's too expensive. Also medium armor. Never mind. Okay. 
Road Rascal. Sharp Dressed Raider. See, that would be a good one for it. Guns and Crit Chance. Not even that expensive, but it's Raider Armor, which doesn't, like, aesthetically match what we're doing. See, I don't know if any of his shit changes. Because he's got a lot of special shit that's, like, the same special shit I saw before. Oh, yeah, we had all, like, the throwing spears and stuff, so... You want to take the shotgun. I really don't give a shit. Keep the rad suit. I'm sure if we need to spend some time in an irradiated area, we'll be thankful for that. Tails. Scotch was... Was Scotch one of the ones we wanted? Or was it the one we didn't want? We want wine, vodka. I think Scotch is the one we sell. Um, look it through my notebook. Give me a second. Scotch. Ridley Scotch. Wine, vodka, and whiskey. Plus beer is actually useful. Scotch is sold then. Not on my list. Doesn't seem to be used for any food. Keep the scrap metal. The mantis legs weight. Nothing? Still? Yeah, still nothing. Keep the hide. Sell the eggs. Uh, I'm going to sell the fission battery. Because if I end up getting over encumbered, I'm just going to ditch it anyway. So I might as well just fucking sell it now. All right, let's head back. See if we need to go out and get the other component, or if, like, they just do the other one themselves, or whatever. Hey there. Have you found the components we discussed? You betcha. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be in Why are his be dead eyes by closed now. almost entirely? Now all I need is the thrust control modules. All right. Where are those? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay. Later. Junk dealers. Ah, scrapyard. That makes sense. We had a uh, ED mission to go there to do. All right to the scrapyard. Do I? It's just up the road from Novak. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we can just go there, dehydrate and irradiate it, and not worry about it. We'll just, uh, you know, quick save real quick. Heard some shooting. <clears throat> so that's Helios 1. So is Gibson right here? Yeah, must be, because there's like cars. Definitely, this is Gibson. Getting close to that ding. Hello, doggy. Are you friendly? Yep. All right. Well, it looks like we can loot the outside, so let's do that. If we're going to be uh, trading with a friend... We might find some stuff here worth selling. Hello, dog. Okay, that's stealing. But 
but only the containers. What's uh what's Edie's quest here? Optional bring Edie to the scrapyard. Okay, uh Oh, that's just crafting shit. Okay. Yeah, no like dialogue. Okay, that fission battery is not real. Fun. Okay, yeah, let's go inside. Wait. Nope. Thought I saw a container, but it's just textures. Junkyard just like screams to me, you know, hidden goody somewhere. Look behind the right thing. Find the container with a good thing in it. Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. Okay, Edie has enclave logs. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Probably our next destination. Do you have thrust control modules from Repcon? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive barter or speech chat um i don't think we have a way to pull that off a pleasure let's check Take. subject e oh. diagnosis complete begin recording my name is whitley I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Uh... iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Okay. We got a log. So, you're back. Seems to be now. it. Oh, shoot. Um, Take care now. So, 20 speech. We need 50. Salesman, 20 barter. So, if we took Mentats, that's one Charisma. It's not going to be enough. Do we have a drug? Some other fucking drug that does something? There might have been, um... Upgraded Mentats, crafting recipes... I don't remember. Does not look like we got anything. There were, of course, apparel options. Um, I guess, which one did you, you had lockpicking, but what, what else was that? Was it repair and lockpicking? Fine by me. Explosives. So we'd have to go back and get something. I don't even know if we had a 10 speech. 
So, you're back. Now. Happy. Okay, she, sh she sells just basically junk. Fuck it. Pleasure doing five hundred is not that much. You you hag. <laughs> Wonder if you can like pickpocket it or something. Or just plain steal it. Shut that fucking radio up before we get demonetized. But they aren't even my videos aren't even monetized, but you know, maybe someday. Okay, this is all just stealing shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying not to steal. It's like just a restriction. Otherwise, I'll just fucking steal all the shit from everybody all the time. Okay, well, maybe we can get a nice reimbursement from the ghouls. I use my own hard-earned fucking caps for this shit, you guys. Give me my give me money back. Do I have an expense fund? This way. I had to think about it for a second. Have you found the components we discussed? Yup. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. So, uh, that's it, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Alright, you and your eyelids have fun. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promise Those are some tiny fucking rockets for that many ghouls. To the far beyond. The evening. Are they gonna actually board the rockets? Nah, no, there's none about. Alright, well. Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. They'd take you if they could, man. And dying would be worse than this? 
used up and thrown away like garbage. You look at the bright side, man. You get to be a saint. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race. Is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. Uh, you, you, you're all right, dude. Don't stop. Stop, man. It's it's cool. So you want me to accompany you on your adventures across? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say that. Right. <laughs> uh, you can go to Novak. Life among humans again. That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. Okay. Uh... And where do I do that? Hmm. Oops. Uh, I guess I'm leaving this floor? Archon basement. Test site. Not accessible. Okay. Well, let's, uh, head back then, I guess. Was there a different entrance? Or a different, um, I mean, maybe it's back up top where the ghouls were in, like, the control room area. Uh, shit, where am I? Oh, I, I almost went completely right. Yeah, this just doesn't show us like a zone transition for some reason on that map. Obviously it is. Okay, now you want me to go... To the research labs. Uh, oh, maybe that was locked? Basement... Test site. These are the external doors. Research labs, research labs. Or maybe we just ignored that door. Wait, where the fuck's the door? Probably up above. That's probably the catwalk. It's probably on the catwalk, yeah. On the catwalk. Oh, it's literally, yeah, it's where the ghouls were. Duh. I'm fucking stupid. Of course there was another fucking area. <laughs> That's where the goddamn ghouls were. Test site. Okay, so this has its own exits. Okay, can I uh, loot this fucking place with no remorse? Really? It still counts as stealing. Bruh. Okay, well where's the... test site exit? Launch button. One a cigarette. A navigation console. Course plotter can't make heads or tails. Science 55. Are they going to the wrong place? Science 39. I can I can use this. Hold on. Quick save. Do we have a book, actually? I think so. Uh, programmas. Oh, we got books for days. 
Examine the data, set the rockets to crash. Well, why the fuck would I do that? Computer said take a non-optimal route. You surmise with minor alterations to make them 12.5% closer. Yeah, make the change. Karma gain. Okay. Look at me go! <laughs> Can we go in those buildings over there? We might need to check that. Or maybe this whole ridge is inaccessible. Well, uh... Novak, idolized. Okay, shit. Alright. Nice. Ton of XP. Good, good, good. Well, have fun with that, ghouls. Your little Flight of the Valkyries take off. Enjoy it. So. We were working on repair. Do I just go... No, we're working on melee. Never mind, never mind. Do I just go hard on melee? 45. We needed... How much, actually? Also, this is a perk level. Da, 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 da. Looking for the thing. Pack rat, 70 barter. That's a billion hours away. What the fuck was the melee requirement? It should be right in front of me on the one page with my perks, and I just don't see it. Melee 45. No, we already, we already did it. Okay. So barter, then. Um, I could do speech. 13 skill points. If we did speech, we could get it to, like, 30 so that we can hit 50 with uh, the book. 39 science is kind of a weird number. Or we do barter. I mean, we've also had barter checks come up a few times. Um... So we got like 30 barter, then we need to get to 50 barter with a book, which is probably a good threshold to look at. It also gets us progress on the pack rat perk eventually. But I mean, 70 barter is fucking insane. Am I even going to do pack rat? Do I want 70 fucking barter? I'm not sure I want 70 barter. <laughs> that seems... It seems like too much effort. If I'm going to take Pack Rat, I'd have to do it now. I don't think we need Pack Rat. I'm going to say fuck Barter and fuck Pack Rat. We could take it later if we get some of the other skills, like, higher in a way that seems fine. So 44 lock picking, was this able to get us to to 75 with like the outfit in the book? With other like mentats plus outfit plus book, I think. I think. Okay, I mean I definitely 39 seems pointless. These might as well be round numbers. Uh, yeah, I think we should put some points into speech here. Get closer to some speech checks. That's two points left over then. Forty six on guns. Twenty five on energy weapons, but we're not going to be energy weapons long term. I don't think it's worth skill point investment. We could start to think about pushing lock picking to higher. I usually like to get lock picking up pretty quick for loot. Sure, fuck it. Let's do that. Junk rounds. This is... Yeah, you can craft ammo out of other shit. We're not going to do that. I like scavenging ammo. I think it's fun. So, gunslinger. One-handed weapons, vat accuracy. 
Cowboy. 20% more damage. With revolver, leather action, dynamite, knife, or hatchet. So we'd be sticking with revolvers and lever actions. So cowboy is what I want for our build and gunslinger. For fun. Um, cowboy seems more broadly applicable because gunslinger is only going to really work with like the revolvers. And what else do we have coming up here? Ooh, 20% faster with plasma seems pretty sick. Not, not gonna do it. That's not our build, but that seems like a cool... That seems like a fun alternate playthrough someday. Life giver. So I want sniper. We need agi and perception for that. Did I miss those requirements? I mean, I guess obviously. All right, well, let's take the shit we can get. If I'm more weight, let's do Catboy. I'm not gonna switch out gear yet. What was my special? I have eight edgy and eight luck, six perception. Yeah, so wait, was Sniper just a higher level? Was that all? It must have been. Yeah, because these are correct. chance to crit it's got to be just just not the right level for it okay uh well let's uh head outside here let's see first if we can loot this place yet although i'm assuming we can well, then we'll head to the rocket launch area to see if there's anything in those buildings there, if we can reach them. Uh, and then we'll head to Novak and see what Chris is up to, and then we'll wrap it up. If the game will load. You are, you are doing me a frighten today, New Vegas. Alright. Uh, I've lost my mouse cursor completely? What the fuck? Okay, well, um, shit. <laughs> I'm unable to get to OBS to pause OBS. Um, I might have, I might have fucked it. Maybe. Okay. Woo. OBS is back. Okay. I had to force close the game and everything. Um, maybe uh, in part because of tabbing out of it. <clears throat> and I went and uh, I TCL'd my way up to the, uh, the launch site there to look around. But there doesn't seem to be uh, anything to that. So. Howdy. Those curiosities resolve. Where do we think the dudes live in now? Uh, 
if anywhere. Boone's room, motel room, Manny Vargas. Maybe he takes an unclaimed room. Maybe he doesn't have a room at all. There's also all the buildings outside he could be in, too, of course. So, like... How do you decide, right? Oh, yeah, didn't... Wasn't this part of, like, Manny's shit? Hold on. Oh. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. Well, we found Chris. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. Okay. And Manny? Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, tell me what I want to know. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Uh, why, they, why did they go that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. And this is where? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. All right. Hope that helps. I owed you. Adios. Yeah, see ya. Okay, well, we're done here. Next time we move on north from Novak. Uh, I did check, uh, yeah, Sniper's level 12. That would be, that would be why. Wait, did we? We never did this. I'm going to have to go back and look between episodes to see if there's a storage room we missed. Maybe we it's something we just open normally? Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, map. Boulder City way up there, so we'll hit Helios 1 on the way to Boulder. I don't know where this abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker map icon came from. That's also something we could poke around at. I'd rather know where that came from, though. Probably some bit of dialogue or something. Well, Boulder City is the only really active quest we have, so that, that will be what we do next.